Hey guys, Megs with another quick video from X Dynamics. So we know that the Evolve 2 is designed as a great tool to use for cinematic videos and film, but not only is our drone great for filming videos, it's also an amazing drone to use for photography. So here's our guide on how to use the Evolve 2 to capture stunning photos. Simply press the shutter button on the ground station and it will change your mode from video to photo mode, or you can press this icon on the ground station and it will do the same thing. Just as you would shoot with a regular DSLR, despite the fact that the camera now is in the air, the same composition rules still apply when you're shooting drone photography. Look for amazing focal points and views that you wouldn't be able to shoot with with a DSLR, such as bird's eye view or top-down views, hilltop houses, freeway overpasses, etc. Another thing to keep in mind is to identify leading lines to draw your viewer's eyes to the composition. One thing to do is set your guidelines on the ground station to help you with your composition. What's cool about the Evolve 2 is that it offers a variety of guides that you can use in order to help you with your composition. Some examples are the golden spiral, rule of thirds, vanishing, etc. Take advantage of this unique perspective by using the drone to shoot your subject and show how expansive the scene is in comparison to your subject. All right, so now let's dive into the settings that we use when we shoot photos. The first setting is really important. We like to set our camera to shoot in RAW. This provides you and your image more information when you process them in post. Shooting in RAW allows the camera to capture more detail and give you a greater dynamic range from the camera's sensor. What this means is that you have more flexibility when it comes to editing, in comparison to editing JPEGs, which tends to be baked in with contrast and saturation. The next setting is ISO, and as we mentioned in previous videos, the ISO is a sensor's sensitivity to light. We bump this up whenever we want light to enter the scene. It's best that we set this to the lowest setting, which is 100, in order to not have any artifacts or noise in our video or photo. The next setting is aperture, and what's great about the Evolve 2 is that you can control your aperture settings, unlike most drones in the market that has a fixed aperture. What I like to do is set my aperture to 5.6 when it comes to shooting landscapes, due to the fact that this is the sharpest aperture setting. But ultimately, it depends on your creative style how you want to set your aperture. You can go as low as 1.8 in order to add some depth of field when you're shooting subjects. Next is shutter speed. The setting is used to create or stop motion blur on your subjects. If you want to stop any moving subjects, set your shutter speed to a faster setting, such as 1 200th and up. Next thing I want to talk about also has to do with shutter speed. This is a creative shot called long exposure photos. This is where you set your shutter speed to a slower setting and everything that is moving will be blurred out in your shot. The problem with slowing down your shutter speed is that your composition tends to be overexposed due to the fact that opening up or slowing down your shutter speed is letting in more light to the sensor. This is where ND filters come in handy. The darker the ND, the longer you can hold your shutter speed open. Something like an ND64 or an ND1000 will allow you to compensate for the amount of light that comes into the sensor in order to get those blurred out water shots like the ones you see in waterfalls or rivers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a few things on how to shoot photos with your Evolve 2. We can't wait to see what you guys capture with the drone. If you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments. It's Migs with X Dynamics, and we'll see you guys in the next one.